C. Brown Reese of Infinite Cinema, and my name is Rosalind McAllister um, of Black Eye Reporter and Black CEO. I am here to introduce you guys to Mr. C. Brown Reese and his wonderful business, Infinite Cinema. Um, so, how did you get started? All right, uh, started up in Iowa, Iowa. in 2004. Uh, I was in graduate school, MGSA. I was the president of the Black Minority Graduate Student Association. And uh, one of our members had a camcorder. And I said, everything that we do, I want to have film documentation of it. And from there, we had film of everything. And so when I came back home to St. Pete after graduation in 2005, uh, I had a camcorder. Actually, my dad bought me a camcorder for my birthday. And uh, I had lots of time playing with it, using it for my nephew's uh, flag football games. And the president of that little league, Charles Park, ironic enough, uh, she came to me and said, Reese, you'll give me that game? I'll buy it from you. And all of a sudden, like in the cartoons where the light goes above your head and sting, <laughs> instantly, that was the beginning. We started getting paid for it, and I found out, hey, I can get paid for doing this. Okay. And that's how it started. Oh, so you started without anything. You just popped up and just jumped into it. It just flowed easily with you. It wasn't like something that you had planned on for your future or anything like that, it just kind of dropped in your lap or something. Yes, indeed. Okay, so it's been about at least 10 years now, 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, how would you feel about teaching others, or do you teach others to do what you do? Indeed I do. Uh, I have to have a staff because it went from one camera to now 15 cameras. Mm -hmm. And so uh, doing that, I have contracts with schools and little organizations and parties, etc., etc. Um, there's lots of action going on, and it has to be more than just me. So I'm always training new individuals to join staff. And not only just to be a videographer, but to actually develop your own business and you can have a separate branch on your own from that. So. Yes, there's so, some important uh, games there. That's so you only do games? Is that the only service that you provide throughout your, your for your in no, ironic enough, we've done everything from birth, live birth, to putting you in the ground in a funeral, and everything else in between. <laughs> so Actually, uh, life video. yeah, every everything but the triple X area. Uh, I haven't touched that venue, that area, but everything else, yes, that's parties, weddings, events, people daydreaming documentaries, uh, sports, highlight reels, you name it, I've done it. So you've gotten into this, um, when you first started, it was all about sports. How did you think about gradu graduating to doing um, life movements other than sports? Well, the first thing that came about besides sports was a wedding. Filming the first wedding, a couple months later, filmed another uncle's wedding. And from there, I started weddings, and then some parties. And where I was contacted about doing other things. So I was like, why not? So, maybe yeah. Hello. Are you looking to, uh, since you've been in, you said about 16 years, you say, now? Plus yes. or minus, yeah, since 04, 05, yeah. Okay. Um, are you looking to pass this on to your family? There will come a time in life where uh, I have five kids. And so, uh, not only five kids, but nieces and nephews and some godparents. 
Got babies. Got babies. Got babies. Got babies. <laughs> and uh, was the era old enough? No problem to putting them on staff. Starting off by putting them on staff. And then from there, if it uh, continues on to be something that one wants to take over when it's time for me to let go, no problem. So I'm sort of grooming them now in the business mind frame that uh, they'll be able to handle money, uh, negotiate things, so that uh, when at that time, it should be no problem. Easy transition. What do you think will hold in the next five, ten, five to ten years from now for your business? How do you see it in the future? Hmm. There's a plan in place that uh, to take over a, a conference, say high school, to be able to cover every high school in the county, the Tampa Bay region. Uh, lots of little leagues, cover those as well. Uh, not only that, there are lots of weddings. Every weekend there are about 50 to 60 weddings here in our area. Uh, trying to link in with several hotel chains that actually have weddings on the beach or resorts and things of that nature, being a part of that. Um, and ironic enough, there are a lot of funerals that request video now. And so linking in with some funeral homes to try to have funeral video. Mm -hmm. Just as there are people getting married, there are people being married. Yes, yes, so, yes. One comes in and one goes out. <laughs> um, what advice would you give for someone that is in your area of expertise or trying to get into your area of expertise? Do a good job. Don't take it lightly. Um, the best way to learn how to do it is to watch TV. Watch TV? Watch TV. <laughs> I mean, if you realize that is video, there's someone behind the camera every time, mm -hmm. unless it's a digital put together. But still, someone's behind the camera, learning how to zoom in, scan appropriately, how to format things. And not only do I film, I edit everything too, so I'm a one-stop shop. So learn how to do things. Um, also, uh, your video will be your advertisement. It speaks for itself. And the word will get out. Uh, good quality cameras beats cheap cameras. Okay, would you recommend them to attend educational? Um, like uh, go to school for what they want for doing this, or would you rather them? Would you think that it would be better for them to start off like you did? In my venue, um, starting off how I did was a great way. Um, when you go to school for it, it's more or less the movie type production, um, commercials and things of that nature when you're like for a movie channel or Channel 8 News, things of that nature. Mine just started off in the grassroots of people wanting video, home video, instead of them bringing their own cameras, well they'll rely on me because the work that we do is much better than a parent cam or them trying to film it themselves and it's older than here and it. Yeah, yeah! Well, when they look back at it, you have ceiling and everything else. Well, leave it up to Infinite Cinema. You can actually enjoy it with your own eyes. Let me have a view it later on, just as well as you saw it before. You keep up with all the technology with it. You add fans as you go, right? Oh, yes. Okay. It initially started as DVDs, now you have digital online venue. You can put things on Facebook Live. You can put it on YouTube Live. You can store everything on online storage and keep it forever. Um, there are many venues in which video serves as an outlet. You can get it out to anyone you need to in any format. Well, it looks like they got a bright future of video ahead of you. And I really appreciate you coming in today and giving me this interview. Um, once again, my name is Ms. Carmody, and I am from Black Eye Reporter and Black CEO. Take care and have a good day.